And the article is dated December 25th, 2009, Christmas Day. The man thought this, this was important enough to tell you at first opportunity, even if all of us, including himself, were engaged in other diversions dealing with the joyous holiday season. Shall we proceed? Yes, I think we shall. Merry Christmas to all and the best of holiday wishes. We did not plan on writing today, but are doing so to be sure our clients and readers and the especially the 300 worldwide journalists on our list see the action just taken by Treasury Department um, under the authority of a certain uh, secretary, Mr. Timothy Geisner. It was clearly designed, this action was clearly designed to minimize the press coverage of the changes in the GSEs. Uh, a GSE is a government-sponsored enterprise, such as Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac especially. But now also increasingly AIG, Citigroup, and to some extent General Motors, and uh, there must be uh, several others that I'm neglecting to remember at this moment. I'm not actually reading this part. This is this is me throwing in what a GSE is. But uh, I'm certain there are more GSEs uh, to be coming in the offing. In the uh, full of hoax and chains New Year. I mean. New Year full of hope and change. Okay, back to his words, this item was released after the closure of the health care debate on the Senate floor, and after the extension of the debt limit passed, and after the President left for his Hawaii trip. Remember, uh, back to my words, uh, I told you about uh, raising the debt ceiling a few weeks ago in one of my other most exciting and enlightening episodes on this informative channel of mine that I uh, take a certain amount of pain and sacrifice to bring to you in as expeditious and prompt a manner as I can. Now back to his words. Uh, this action uh, announcement was made out on Thursday afternoon, that would be Christmas Eve. Uh, the press release outlines the many changes that the Treasury is making because of the worsening conditions of Fannie and Freddie. It paves the way for the recognition of losses in the hundreds of billions in the GSE, a government-sponsored enterprise, mortgage pools. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are mortgage pools, in case you did not know, where the face amounts of the mortgages exceed the property market values or foreclosure amounts. You understand what that means? You know, the houses, they're paying more money because the house used to be worth more, but they're paying less, so they foreclosed, and now Freddie and Fannie hold all the paper on that, and so the government extended that ceiling back to the article. This action moves things one step closer to full nationalization of the GSEs and full specific guarantee of the GSE debt by the U.S. Treasury by uh, cracking a whip on all us taxpayers. That would put official, oh, those were not Kotox words, those were mine. That would put official GSE debt out on the uh, government's sovereign debt balance sheet. Stop, just like I said. Go. That is also where it belongs, since this has been a game of deception over the implied guarantee, and it is time for this deception to stop, according to Mr. Kotak. Technically, the GSEs are still operating under an implied guarantee. Uh, not yet, like, spelled out for them until now. But because of that, the foreign sources and domestic U.S. institutions have been reluctant to buy GSE debt, and the Federal Reserve has had to step in with over one, count them, trillion, count them, to bolster the U.S. housing market. We believe this action confirms the seriousness of the GSE problem and is another reason why the Fed must stay on hold with low interest rates for an extended period of time and why there may even be an extension and enlargement of the Fed's holding of GSE paper. If the prices of houses don't change, you know, uh, for the better. GSE debt. If markets do not reprice GSE debt at very tight spreads to Treasury debt, the home mortgage interest rate in the United States will rise and the nascent housing recovery will be 
choked off. The Fed knows this and is watching these spreads closely. So, in other words, if they can't get it paid down while value's down, <laughs> you know, then we're never going to get out of the debt. We're going to keep on owing. So the prices have to stay down? Is that what they're saying? When will Mr. Geithner and his colleagues learn that there are no secrets and that transparency and explanation is much better than release of details in the middle of the night? They won't. This is their modus operandi. This is how they do things. They're a bunch of sneaky bastards. And it's because they're taking over. They don't want this debt to be paid off. They want it to default. So everything ends up in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac defaults and thusly... Oh, excuse me. We, the people, allegedly own everything, which really means that we don't own nothing. The government owns everything, including uh, the place, the house where you're sitting and watching this. Probably they will never learn, but there are some of us who will leave our holiday time for a few minutes and keep reminding them. Good guy, Mr. Kotak. We are scheduled to remind them again on CNBC closing bell at 4.30 p.m. on Monday. Who will be there? CNBC Squawk Box Asia and on CNBC Power Lunch on December 30th. We again wish our readers best wishes for the new year. Our earlier comments on GSEs are archived on our website. 